Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and today we're going to continue with our bulk sampling program. Uh, we went back out to the old mining claim that has that dump pile we've been sampling. We have three different super sacks full of ore. We got this weighed, it weighs 5,500 pounds, so that's how much we're going to be processing today. And we're going to start here through our turnkey system. This is our one ton per hour turnkey system. We'll fill up the hopper here with the ore. It'll vibrate down through the jaw crusher, crush it to about three quarter inch minus. It'll come up this conveyor belt behind me into this fine ore bin here. The fine ore bin catches the material as a holding bin. The jaw crushers, you know, depending on the ore size you're putting in there, it'll surge, it'll crush more than the hammer mill. The hammer mill needs a really nice even feed as well as the table. So this is the fine ore holding bin out of the jaw crusher. There's a magnetic feeder at the bottom that you can adjust for the nice even feed rate we talked about. It's gonna come up this conveyor here into our 16 inch by 12 inch hammer mill over here. This has a 0.8 millimeter screen in it. So it'll be about 70% passing 30 mesh and about 50% passing 50 mesh. We run it with about one to two gallons a minute of water to flush out the hammer mill and create a slurry that runs down onto the shaker table. The shaker table is a density separator. And so all the gold particles will come across the table under this water bar here, down into the high grade ports. The sulfides and any uh, other values will come down into the number three middlings port. And then the final tailings will go down into the spiral classifier. The spiral classifier serves a couple different purposes. First, it's a, a dewatering screw. So anything that falls into this uh, basin here and will sink down to the bottom is gonna auger up this screw behind me and it'll be dewatered and it's the coarse material that if there's any values, it can be rerun back to the system. The fine material, the 100 to 200 mesh and smaller, stays suspended in this water and can flow out into this final uh, tailings pond here behind me or under me actually, in this concrete basin. And then we just recirculate the water over and over again through the system. In some of the previous videos we've done in this material, we've talked about the importance of sampling and bulk testing. And so this is kind of the next phase in that. And based on our previous uh, samples that we've done, I'm expecting somewhere between 35 to 40 grams of gold, uh, maybe a little bit more, uh, but we'll get the system running and we'll see uh, how much we can recover out of these uh, three bags of, of rock.
These are our number one concentrates, and I've panned them down a little bit, so we don't have so much to smelt. So I'm gonna dry them out here just over my furnace and uh, get them dry, get them weighed, and then we'll mix up a flux recipe for them. All right, I just flipped her over, and I think from about here up is all metal. Let me get a little hammer and chip that off of there and see what we got. And there's our button. It's not the best looking button I've ever seen. Um, but it's all there, and it doesn't look like there's any mat attached to the bottom of it. And I only added uh, 20 grams of lead, and that's a pretty big button. So hopefully the rest of it's gold. Let's uh, let's get it cupelled and see how much gold we got. Okay, here's our number one on the left and number two on the right. And so I, what I did is I panned down the number ones, smelted them, and this just came out of the Cupel furnace, so it's still pretty hot. And same thing with the number two. I just panned them down, um, smelted them, cupelled the button I ended up with, and got our little gold beads. So this one's cooled down. It's, it's a little yellow, like gold. Um, this one's still real hot, so I'll pull this one out and uh, get it cooled down and it should turn that, that nice yellow gold color here. And there we go, there's our two nice goldy yellow buttons. Let's get them weighed and figure out how much gold we got. All right, the number one weighs just shy of 35 grams. And the gold out of the number two weighs just over one gram. So we recovered almost exactly 36 grams. And there they are together. And what's interesting to note is about 97% of the gold is here, came into the number one bucket, and only 3% of the free gold ended up in the number two high grade. So the table did a really, really great job at getting all the gold over into the number one, and a little bit went into the number two that we just panned out, smelted down, and recovered. So one of the ways to test your gold for purity is to use the underwater weight method or the Archimedes method. And it involves weighing the gold um, dry on the scale and then weighing it underwater. And it gives you uh, the density of the gold. And then uh, you can figure out the amount of gold and silver in it because when you cupel, all the base metals are removed and you're just left with the gold and silver. So I'm going to do that now. We'll weigh it uh, dry, 34.83 grams. I have a bucket of water here on the scale. I'm gonna tear it. So now we're to zero. This is, this is really goofy, but it works pretty well. Here's my little platform. Put that in the water, tear it again. So now we're at zero. Now I take my gold and the scale's negative because I took out that aluminum, little wire here I'm using. So as I put that under water, we get a water displacement of 2.01 grams of water. So real quick, you do a calculation, you have your dry weight and the amount of water you displaced, you divide the two, and you end up with a density of about 17.3. And what this really tells you is how many more times uh, the density of your object is than water. So, um, but it works out nice being uh, the density of water of one. So that's the density of our gold. And then we can look up online there's lots of charts showing the density of different carat gold and this comes out to be right around 21 carats so um, we're really close to that 90 percent gold and 10 percent silver
All right, guys, so we did pretty good. We ended up with about 36 grams worth of gold from two and three quarters tons or so. It works out being about 13 grams a ton. Uh, so that's not bad for just a pile sitting there waiting to be processed. And on this video, I kind of skimmed over the refining and the smelting part. I've got a ton of other videos on YouTube. Um, if you're really interested in the smelting and refining part, uh, you can check out some more of our videos on our channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or are interested in any of the equipment that we ran today, uh, please give us a call or visit our website, and you can find that information in the description below. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.